We talked yesterday about the uh, L.A. Times list of the 75 greatest Lakers. Magic Johnson was number one, Kobe Bryant number two, Kareem three, Jerry West four, Shaq five. LeBron tied for seventh with George Mikan, if you're wondering, uh, behind Elgin Baylor. But, Rob, like I said yesterday, I had kind of stopped looking at after 20, and you joked about, where was Nick Van Exel? Right. Well, it did get a bit ridiculous as the list went on. Uh, I'm just going to give you a few names. Yeah, give me number did 30. Nick, did Nick Van Exel make it? Kurt Chris? Rambis. Wow. Number 34, Andrew Bynum. Wow. Wow. He, hey. You asked about Nick Van Exel? Yes. Number 37. Okay. 37th not, greatest Laker. And I'm not disrespecting Nick Van Exel. He had a Nick nice career. Nick was a very good player. He was, Chris. He had a nice career. And you know what was always weird about Nick Van Exel? I'm Kyle running Kuzma, this number 42. Oh, how? There's more, Rob. It, like I said, it gets kind of crazy. Kyle Luke Kuzma. Walton making the list at number 45. <laughs> And wait a minute. Hey, at guess 40, was 47. Kentavious uh, Car- Caldwell. Oh, stop oh. it. Oh, this is a ridiculous <laughs> list. It, and it, and it wait a minute. Nuts. At number 50 is Kurt Rambis' glasses, right? Is he at number 50? It, it may, hey, 50 was Brian Shaw. And how about uh, Chick Hearn? Where is he on the list? Well, is he, he on the list? He play, but okay. Sedell Three got in there at 56. Jordan Clarkson busted into the list at number 58. Rob, how about Alex Caruso? Number 61. Stop it, Chris. It, it, I'm telling you, it got it got nuts. It got nuts. Devin that, George that, on the list is 68. De- Devin uh, George was the is the answer, Chris, to the trivia question. Who was the other player who played with the uh, four uh future Hall of Famers on that 2004 <laughs> right, Lakers team? Right. Right, I, I think you could argue a higher spot for Devin George. When I right. look at some of these lists, I mean, yeah, some of the names. On but this Devin list. George, he was he was on those cha- a couple yeah, championship teams. Yeah, wasn't he? that's why I'm a little surprised that he was uh, so low. But uh, all right, Rob, let's get into this. Uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo, the best player in the league, we both agree, and I think most people recognize that right now. Um, he was on his boy Serge Ibaka's podcast. How hungry are I never you? miss uh, Serge Ibaka's podcast. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you should check it out. It's called How Hungry Are You? Okay. Is it a you food podcast? You might get podcast? some recipes. Uh, there's some, something to do with food. Okay. But anyway, he was asked by Serge how he feels about, or if he feels like, I should say, that if he feels like he's the face of the NBA, here's what he said. Do you feel like you are the face of the league? I want to be like Tim Dunn. I want to disappear. You, oh, put, you put me in the face of the league. I'm trying to disappear from it. No, I'm, I'm not saying you. I'm asking do you want. I'm asking do you feel a difference? Yeah. Do, do you I feel like you are the face of the league? Do I feel like I'm one of the uh, faces of the league? Yes. One of no. One the of face. The, no, 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 no. You're not. LeBron is the face. LeBron still playing. Okay, it's, it's a question. Yeah, it's question is mine, yours. Okay, Steph, so you don't feel like that? No. Steph just won the championship. KD still hooping. Okay. It's a question, sir. Don't get me. And is killing. Don't, don't attack me. I'm just Yoke, saying. Jokic back to back MVP. Okay. Look at Magic. Yeah. There's a lot of people out there. Rob, first of all, props to Serge. Because he didn't let him go. No, he was not like, like no, are you the face? Like, not like so him. many other like, right, shows I'm we, we listen to, Chris. Absolutely. At least he pushed back. And he Absolutely. said, answer my damn question. Right, he didn't say it right. that way, but answer it right. <laughs> Absolutely. So you're right. So props to Serge Ibaka. All right, so what do you think? Uh, I, I'll say this, and I know you want to go. LeBron is certainly no longer the best player in the league. Uh, I think it'd be hard to say he's a top 10 player at this point. Um, But I do, if I had to pick one guy, I mean, if he's going to stay injured for a while, then he just can't be the face of the league. But I, I really do think he still, when people think of the NBA right now, I still think the first guy that comes to their mind is LeBron James. I'm going to disagree with you. I, th- I don't think LeBron is any longer the face of the NBA. Chris, for a couple of reasons. A, you just talked about it. He's been injured a lot. He's also missed the playoffs three out of the last four years. And, and to be that guy, you need to be playing during uh, the postseason. That's when people are focused in and the league. It's Steph Curry, whether I want to say it or not. 
And here's the other thing, Chris, that really surprised me about LeBron coming to L.A., being the first player to win four, what was it, three championships with three different teams. You remember that? Like, that was supposedly right. like right. A, a notch on his thing. He did something nobody else had done. Kawhi had a chance to do it first, Chris, right? Or, uh, right? We you thought about, about that. being injured. Right, but he was injured, of course. But And then LeBron is attached to, like, the worst TV ratings ever for an NBA Finals. And Steph Curry and the Warriors are television gold. And I don't think that people, Chris, that's not to take away his lifetime achievement or what he's done and where he ranks in his ultimate, but I don't think the people are as, as enamored with LeBron. I really thought, that was going to be something special where people tuned in to say, man, this guy's a great player, and here he is going to win another championship. He's winning it with the Lakers. And I know it was weird with COVID and everything. It wasn't, but it was the all-time worst rated finals ever, well, which was shocking. And I'm his, just saying, I don't oh, think, ahead, I don't think, he, I just don't think he's the box office that he once was. I really don't. Well, was he? I mean, he was, but... Rob, when he first made it to the finals with Cleveland, those were very low-rated finals against San Antonio. They got swept. So I think – I still think – and it'll be interesting to see what the listeners think. Because, I look, right. you know I like – I love Steph. I love LeBron. Um, I just – I get what you're saying about Steph. He's obviously in commercials. And, um, you know, he's coming off the championship. But I, I still feel like LeBron is ahead of him. Like, again, when people We're think not of talking the about NBA, right. I but, feel like they think LeBron first. And, um, but, but here's the and, other part, Chris. Let me just jump in real quick. Steph has as many championships as LeBron no, right, dur- right. during the LeBron era, what you would call the LeBron era in the NBA. Absolutely. But, but do you think Steph ever – Eclipsed LeBron as the fa- like now you're saying yes I'm saying but for now the bulk of I'm LeBron's saying now career, no, no I know no but even as he was winning as much as LeBron no no Le- right so LeBron was still kind of that guy I think this might be a factor too as great as LeBron is and both you and I have him as the second best player ever to Jordan his and I actually think I mean I think Jordan was just better period but I also think Rob particularly with the casual fan. I think one of the things that works in Jordan's favor, maybe right now in Steph's favor, is that their games are prettier than LeBron's. LeBron's a freight truck. Right. right? His game isn't really that right. pretty. He doesn't pass. He's a great passer, but he don't pass like Magic. Magic had the, you know, all, Magic Dipsy wasn't like Doodle the greatest and, right. athlete yeah, by NBA standards, but his passing was head and shoulders above the second best ever. Like, it's ridiculous. Fun to watch. Jordan flying through the air. He was so graceful. Like, Kobe on steroids, so to speak. Like, I think that stuff matters, you know? And Steph, just from the range he shoots with, the handle he has. People talk about Kyrie, who I do think has the best handle ever in the NBA. But Steph's up there. Steph's handle is great. He can finish it during. So, I just I do think that is part of it, too. Like you said, LeBron... LeBron is like Carl Malone with point guard skills. You know what Absolutely. I mean? Absolutely. That's a like good way of looking at it. Right. And, and he can and, shoot, and, but it's just not as fun to look at and watch as some of these guys I mentioned. And as great as Carl Malone was, Chris, I don't think it was ever. And, and remember, he was the second all-time leading scorer, right? I mean, yep. Uh, yep. he is, I should say, right? He until, right uh, until he gets uh, passed. Yeah, I don't know if LeBron. I think did Le, I LeBron, LeBron passed Carl. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, But you know yeah. what I mean for his career. Right. Uh, he went, At the end, he was the second leading scorer of all time in the NBA. And I don't think anybody ever thought Carl Malone was the greatest player or was box office, you know. And they went right. to some and, finals, and LeBron's Chris. LeBron's more exciting than him. I mean, yeah, I'm no, just no, saying no, the way no he's built. Yeah. Right. But I, I just think that there's the last few years in L.A., just wasn't what I think some people had hoped. Again, can't blame it all on him because he's been hurt. But that's what happens when you get this age, Chris, and you're playing year 20 right. in the NBA. We've seen it. All these guys, players, Chris, what they what they go out with? A uh, 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 torn uh, Achilles. Like, uh, like Kobe. I don't know how many careers were ended Isaiah. on. Isaiah. 
right? Yeah, right, on, on to torn Achilles. Yeah. So I hope that doesn't happen, but this is year 20, and he's been hurt a lot, and his but team has under underperformed uh, uh, – to you not agree, make the playoffs though, three out of not, four years is shocking in L.A. I, I, not really not to is. me with the injuries. I mean, he's been injured. And if he wasn't injured, A.D. Chris, injured. Even with the play-in, where they got, the West where they got ten teams going in like last year, they couldn't they, be in they make the play-in? They were hurt to a large degree. I also think that the West is tougher. And I know the East has improved, and it's, it's just right now they're both really tough. But I think coming over to the West – uh, was a little tougher than playing in the East. Um, but you you agree it's not Giannis? Like, who would you say, Rob, if you had to say Steph. who could, who will be the next? No, I know you said Steph now. Who do you think would be the next face of the league? I think it – I mean, Giannis – if Giannis wins it this year, he might take it. It kind of felt like he was taking it when he – you know, coming off that championship, and he was phenomenal in those finals. Um, I think Luca's got a chance. You know, I didn't used to think a, a, an international player, Rob, could be the face of the league. Do you really but think the best players in the league are international now? Yeah, I'm not. I'm still, uh, and and it's not fair or right. Still not thinking that those guys are going to be able to overcome. And Chris, it's it's overcome this, just overcome be, be being, the face being of the far, league. Really? yeah being far yeah. I I, I think it's tougher. Because people have a harder time. It's not has nothing to do with their ability or whether they're worthy of it for their talent. Right, right. But it's harder for people to relate. Um, I, either, but I either, think, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Either from the language that they don't, they don't, they they haven't, they, they don't live the life or never lived the life that that we other people in the United States lived. It's harder to feel the same or feel like, hey, Larry Bird's from. From uh, French Lick, Indiana. Do you know what I mean, Chris? Like the heartland. There are people who could feel like, I, I get that. You know what I mean? I was born on a farm or I was born in the Midwest. He's one of those guys. He went to Indiana first and then to Indiana State. I, I can relate to a lot of that stuff. Whether, and, and now when you talk about Giannis and, and uh, Luca and those guys, they're great players. I, I just, I don't know if people can attach themselves. I think there's 100%. an element of that. I used to think that more strongly, um, but not know, as much. A lot of the guys are Giannis. Even as we'll say himself, he's a little different from say your typical you know NBA player who grew up in America. Um, but those guys have personality. Obviously, they all speak English. Um, Joel Embiid's got personality. You know, uh, big on social media. Uh, Giannis with his dad jokes and all that stuff. Um, and then Luca, I think, you know, his game is just so crazy. Um, I, I do think one of those guys, I don't think it'll be NB because I don't think they win enough. Uh, but I do think you, Luca or Giannis will probably be the next face of the NBA. I mean, Ja, if they win it, but I, I don't know if they can win it. So uh, let's throw it out to the callers, 877-99 on Fox, 877-996-6369. Do you agree with Giannis that LeBron James is the face of the NBA? That's number one. Number two, who do you think is the future face of the NBA, and can it be an international player? I think it's going to be Giannis or Luka. Rob thinks it can't be an international player just yet. All right, Chris, let's kick it off with uh, Debo Crazy in Chicago. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What up, Debo? Hey, what's going on, Rob? Chris Prasad. What's up? I got to go with LeBron James, man, because we get, look at who they send to when it needs something to be said. Like if you go back to Daryl Murray and the, the China thing, they had LeBron come out and make the statement. I don't see Steph and Giannis being the ones to come out and make serious statements on behalf of the NBA. So I'm well, still going I, look, with LeBron I think James. that's a great point. That that China thing, that was just LeBron talking at uh, a Cavs or a uh, Lakers practice on his own. I mean, he was right, – The you NBA know, didn't the send him out. Yeah, they didn't right. say LeBron make a statement. But I do – you are right. I mean, LeBron does address some of those things a lot more – when it comes to speaking out, LeBron certainly 
will be that guy. So uh, that's a good point. Yeah. Let's go to uh, Gary in Houston. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What up, Gary? Okay. First of all, I think Giannis is being a little disingenuous because remember years ago, before he won a championship, he beat the Lakers in like a, in like a game and like he put the crown on his head. Okay. I do but, remember him saying something years ago about being the face of the league. He thinks he could. Because I said I didn't think he could. Because he didn't have that American swag. Right, and then, right. I don't know if he was responding yeah, okay. to me, but it was around the same time he said that he thinks he could. Right. But I think the point Rob is missing, if you ask people who don't know much about the NBA, they would name you LeBron for any other player. I disagree. Yeah, I, think, I, I, I think I think Steph is at the front forefront of people's mind. And You Steph think people just, would say Steph? If, if you just asked a random person on the street, they I, say I'm just Steph saying, over LeBron? I, I, I don't. I don't think that LeBron. I, I. I know he's more visible than Steph and all that, and he's going to go down. It's like. It's like the. It's like LeBron gets the extra points. Like he shouldn't be a top seven Laker, but but he's so good that it's hard for you to 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 not include him. Do you know what I mean? Because he's so great. Is he really the seventh greatest Laker of all time? No, I don't think so. Well, he but led him to a championship. I, I got it, but he's also missed the playoffs. None three of the or four other ones years. did. I, I understand, but I just think that Steph is, yeah. Steph is Steph is that championship, Chris. If he didn't win that one, then there would be no question to me. But I think the fourth one to match LeBron during the LeBron era, to me, I think Steph is pretty popular. Philly in Florida. That's nice. Philly in Florida. You're on the Odd Couple, Fox Sports Radio. What up? Hey, fellas. I uh, love your show. Thank you for having me on for a call. Thank you. Thank you. Um, in terms of this overall face of the NBA, I would like to just point out, you know, not only is the NBA getting more diverse with these foreign players coming over and not only adapting well, but, you know, becoming some of the best players on their team like Jokic, Porzingis with the Wizards and Doncic and Wiggins and whatnot. I actually would, I want to say it's Giannis and my reasoning being right. I know for myself, I'm 23 now. I've grown up on LeBron since he went to the Cavs and was drafted and whatnot, but you know, not everybody was 6'2 in their freshman year in high school and grown to 6'7 by junior year and was just built like that and was naturally gifted like LeBron was, and that's not taking away his hard work. But right. with a guy like Adonis, he kind of represents what you want to look at when it comes to hard work and making it out. He escaped from a country that put him and his family in danger. He not only made it to a league that is so hard to make for people like him coming out, but he's notably one of the best players in the world at this point and continues to adapt. He's won a championship for his team and has given back so much to his city, to his family, and I think he just represents the humility and the hard work that you want to see out of players, especially players who come from absolutely nothing and continue to do so. So I just think he represents all the right things. I think he's got so much more left and so many more championships to give to Milwaukee, and I just believe that's why he should be and is the face of the NBA currently in this day and age. I think you – look, what you said is great. Um but Rob, I don't think most people take all that into account. I don't, and I don't think you most know, people could relate to all casual that. Casual fan may I not really even don't. know uh, about Giannis's background and story, not in detail. Right now, um, this guy is a basketball guy who we right. Just had. So he's clearly a fan so of Giannis he, and he's a basketball a fan guy, of Giannis, right. and I get it. And and it's it's cool, Chris, that he admires him. He knows yep. his story. But I'm with you. Most people, the only thing they know about Giannis is that they can't pronounce his name. That's what they know. I'm just saying. Chris. They know he's seven feet and, and, and athletic. And, you, you know, you know that. You really, know that yeah. Greek. That Greek freak. Because right, I can't right. say his name. Right. I mean, like I'm being real. Right. right. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Just Whatever. call him Giannis. <laughs> exactly. All right. All right. We got Christian. We, one more. We have time. Uh, we, go quickly. One more. Yeah. Real quick, more. Jake. In Dallas, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. You got a minute, Jake? What's up? Well, I'll make it pretty quick because that last caller kind of stole my thunder a little bit, so no worries there. But I want to add to that. Uh, if there's anything that American sports fans love more than anything is an underdog story. And that's kind of what Giannis does bring to the table is being that underdog. As a child, him and his brothers, they all were selling CDs in Nigeria Right. To be able to put food on the table for his family, for their family. And that's that's something that 
I think your, your typical American sports fan can offer. Now, what I will say to add to that as well, I think being in Milwaukee is something that ends up hurting him, and that may end up being the reason why he may not end up being the face of the NBA. If he was in L.A., if he was in Miami, if he was in New York, I think you'd have a lot bigger of a shot at that because of that market share. Don't disagree. That, you know, your big city. Yeah, I, I, I look, this is different than 20 years ago. You can be in Cleveland or Milwaukee and get you still get major league attention that you didn't get 20 years ago. But I do agree with him, Rob, that it, it, it's still if he were playing for the Lakers. Or the Knicks or it something, Chris. Are you kidding? Celtics, yes. Right, right, there, right. It would be, so and, I, and, I and he was that. winning, and yep. he won a championship. It would be, Doing oh, my God. He's done. Yes, yeah. no doubt. But it's good to hear them, uh, American fans, say that, you know, they seem to think Giannis is or could be the face uh, or another international player. So that's good to hear.